uh, how will anyone so in this video what we're going to see is uh, how we can prepare a query in databricks using python for that uh, we'll be passing at two parameters table a and table b and by using these parameters we're going to prepare a query uh, like uh, select count stuff from table a you need all select counts from table b and we are going to execute this in, in databricks uh, in, for example i just created a table with sample record and in table a and table b i just show you the count of record from this table uh, a and table b so in the table a, i have two records and table b i have three records and what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, concatenate uh, these two output in a single run these two query in a single query as a single query using an all in between them so if you see the output we'll get some output something like this table a has count as 2 table b has count as 3 so instead of running individual queries one after the other we can prepare a query in a query by company all of them into a single one and run a single shot uh, let's see how we can do this in python i've done a sample code snippet here so yeah so here the table list uh, here I have a called table list uh, this is the list which uh, holds all the uh, table in, table names uh, for here I'm using table A and table B and I have declared variable first this is set as, uh, assigned as y uh, and I have another variable final query I've assigned this variable as spaces here so I'm just using a for loop here to iterate over this para over the list so I'm for table and table list for the first time I'm gonna uh, prepare the string the select a table comma count star from table uh, this will like uh, just this particular uh, portion is just to uh, show the table name from which table we are running the query and this is the count star from the respective tables and for the first iteration it goes into this uh, this this portion and next time as it I mean um, I am resetting this y to n here so that uh, this loop this uh, when uh, the loop runs this runs only for the one time runs only one time and for subsequent runs it goes to the else part here and the else part i am going to use uh, i'm going to prepare the string with uninal in bit uninal at the front so that when the loop runs for the first time it run, we prepare a query only with this with this uh, this uh, expression and for the subsequent runs it's going to put uh, run this and prepare in this expression this expression so i'm just finally i'm just what i'm doing is i'm just uh, appending this concatenating this variable to final query so that every time it runs it's keep appending this variable and finally i'm displaying the output so let me run this uh, code so now we have see here the first time it runs it will go on put uh, prepare this table a and the second iteration comes it will go on do we concatenate with union all set table from table b so now we're going to execute this SQL uh, in the next window and see how it shows. So when you run this query, you will see table A has count as table 2 and table B has count 3. So instead of running these two queries separately, we can prepare one query and run and run the query and get the output. Uh, the same thing we can do for three tables. I'll just change a table 3 here and just to show how it works the table C and around here so this is going to prepare a query like this So like this you will get up so table a has two record table b has three record table c has three record similarly if you have a number of tables you can you can configure in this list and you can prepare a query as by using this logic so that you will get everything in a single query and you can run this query in a single shot instead of hitting that database multiple times you can prepare one single query and run once that's it for this video thanks for watching